Hello, welcome to ENHRP on YouTube and welcome to today's video for the 7 Artisans 7.5 fisheye lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. Hello, welcome along then to today's video for the 7 Artisans lens. It's a 7.5mm fisheye lens for the Micro Four Thirds system. Uh, it came in this extremely battered box, it just looks like it's been sat in a warehouse for ages. Um, but the lens is fine itself. So it is the 7 Artisans. It's a fully manual lens for the Micro Four Thirds system and this is it. And I have to say, for the money, um, it's about 100 and between 110 to 130 pounds you should be able to pick this up for. Um, it's not a bad lens at all actually. It's, it's very well made, it's a full metal body. Um, obviously it's fully manual so there's no electrical contacts around the edge but with the Olympus peaking, focus peaking, it's very easy to use and I've got some uh, really nice shots out of it. Um, so it is a fisheye lens, you get the fisheye bulge at the front of the lens. It is 7.5 millimeter, so it's a 15 millimeter equivalent lens. F2.8 um, it goes down to, and I found if you use about, that's the only thing, look. That's very loose, anyway. So if you go to about F5.6 to about, between F5.6 and 5.8, uh, 5.8, F5.6 and F8, is where you're gonna get the sharpest results from, from this lens. But even at f2.8, it's very usable indeed. Uh, the corners go a little, but you can correct that slightly. Um, I have stuck this on, which helps with the focus when it's on the, I'll just pop that front lens cap on. When it's actually on the camera itself, this helps just with the focus um, because it can be quite difficult to reach that sometimes, um, depending on the camera you've got. So that little, but that comes in the box, it just sticks on with a sticky label that just allows you to focus the lens fully. So my final thoughts on the 7 Artisan 7.5mm fisheye lens for Micro Four Thirds. Really nice lens, it's the first 7 Artisan lens I've had. It's one of the known cheaper brands, uh, Lauer are the second one that you can get cheaper lenses, fully manual lenses for. Um, 
I really like it. I think it gives a nice pitch quality. Uh, it works well with the EM1 Mark II uh, and I'm, I'm really pleased with it. For the money, I think it's a really nice little lens to have in your bag. You won't use it all the time. Uh, you might just use it once or twice if you're doing a bit of landscape photography or whatever you do. But as a little alternative lens to have, which doesn't weigh too much, fits nicely in the hand and in the bag and on the camera, yeah, it's really good. Really enjoy it. Really nice little lens to have. So thank you very much for watching the video today. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give us a thumbs up, a like and a share. And also, why not consider subscribing as well? I am finally over a thousand subscribers. It's taken me eight years to get here. I'm slowly building to world in importance. So if you want to help me along with that journey, then please do subscribe for some more videos. Until next time, this has been Ian HRP on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.